Okay, one other way that we can gain evidence for evolution using molecular techniques is a lot of current agriculture using genetically modified organisms. And it should be pointed out that genetically modified organisms are not dangerous. It's the reason we actually have agriculture and that we're actually able to feed ourselves. So let's look at one example of genetically modified organisms, the so-called Bt corn. Bt corn is corn that has essentially bacterial genes injected into its own genome. So you can see that non-BT corn on the left is sort of eaten up. And there's a, a moth larvae that loves corn, so it will eat these up. But BT corn that's been genetically modified pretty much looks untouched. And that's because there's a specific bacteria called Bacillus thuringogenesis, or BT for short, that releases an enzyme. And remember, an enzyme is a protein, so it has some gene in its genome that makes an enzyme that is a pesticide. And if any of the insects that like corn eat this naturally occurring pesticide produced by these bacteria, they will die. So how does this even work? Well, this indicates common ancestry using molecular techniques because essentially what happens is that genetically modified organisms are those where you can take a piece of DNA and you can see that here at the top you can clip out the gene that has the useful information on it in this case the gene encoding for the enzyme that is a natural pesticide produced by Bt, and you can add it into what are called plasmids. Plasmids are little pieces of DNA produced by bacteria, so you can inject plasmids into growing plant cells here. The plant cells that take up this plasmid then can produce their own version of this pesticide. And that's because a gene in a bacterium uses the same A, T, C, and G language as the genome of corn, which uses the same A, T, C, and G language. So in this case, corn is taking up a bacterial gene, but the gene can be read by the ribosomes inside of the corn because the genetic code is universal. So regardless of what organism you grow a gene in, the ribosomes should be able to translate it into a functional enzyme. And this has been demonstrated time and time again with a lot of crops, especially BT corn. BT corn can survive attacks by a lot of different types of insects here because they have been given this extra piece of gene that they can then translate into a naturally produced pesticide enzyme.